Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Game Maker for Beginners. In this week's episode we're going to look at how to create a very simple menu screen for our game um, and we're going to look at how to create buttons on that menu screen to start the game and we're going to look at how to create fonts and font sets within Game Maker. So the first thing we need to do in Game Maker is we need to create a set of fonts. Now fonts are letters, so they're how letters look. Uh, you've probably come across some famous fonts like Arial, um, Times New Roman, those kind of fonts, um, and they're exactly the same within Game Maker. So, just like any other thing, if we wanted to create a sprite, we'd right click the sprite and go create a sprite. If we want to create an object, we'd right click object and go create object. And if we want to create a new font, we right click font and go create font. This opens up our our font selection screen here and up on the left hand side top left hand side you see there's a section called font with a drop down menu and in that drop down menu are all the famous font types so we've got Arial, Courier, New, Times New Roman we're just going to pick one uh, so let's have a look at Gullim there we go Gullim, Gullim looks okay uh, there we go we'll go for Microsoft Tiley so we've selected the font type by clicking it from the drop down menu I'm going to name my font now so I can keep track of them so I'm going to call this MS Tiley font and we can also do stuff like select the size here whether it's bold whether it's italic and I'm going to change my size to 24 so it's quite big there we go so there we go we've got a preview that's appeared there so I'm going to click OK to say that font's fine now the reason we're creating a font is that when we create our menu screen we're going to need a button on there and that button's going to say play game so what we need to do is we need a font because we're going to write some text so first things first let's make a new object so right click objects and go create object once again creates our default empty object there and let's call this object play game button and we're not going to set a sprite to it but we're going to make sure that visible and solid are ticked now the first thing we need to do is we're going to go and we're going to go and add an event and we're going to add a draw event now draw events are to do with how Game Maker displays graphics on the screen. So if we click draw and then select draw from the submenu, there we see we've got draw. And what we're going to do is we're going to go along and we're going to go down to the draw tab over on the right hand side here. Click that. And we can see one of the options under the draw and submenu is a letter A. And if we drag that across, we see that that is how we draw text. So let's draw some text and what we're going to draw is we're going to say play game there we go and we've got the X and Y settings which is where the play game text is going to be displayed on screen at the minute they're zero, 00 so top left hand corner but what we want is we want to tick relative so that wherever we place this object in the room in a minute is where the play game text will be displayed and click OK so there we've said what it's going to draw the next thing we need to do is we need to tell it to draw that text using the font we've just created that's the MS Tiley font we've got over here to do that go down to the set and submenu and there you'll see two little T's next to each other drag these across and that's our set font menu and once again we've got a couple of drop down menus here if we click on the blue tabs we can set the font at the minute there's no font selected but we obviously want to select our Microsoft Tiley font that we've created and we've got the align options and that says whether the text appears indented to the left the center or the right so we're going to click left in fact we'll click center and click OK next thing we need to do is we need to set the color of the text so if we drag over underneath settings there's a little artists pad there we'll drag that over and here we go once again click the blue menu here and we can select what color we want the text to be now I'm going to select a nice red there we go a dark red text and click OK so what we've done there is we've told it that we've made an object and that object will have the text on there that says play game and the font for that text will be the font we've created over here the Microsoft Tiley font and the text will be red in colour that shows the player what it looks like the next thing we need to do is we need to tell the player what's going to happen when we click it so go add event move over to mouse over here and select left button this means when we click this object the text with the left button and what we need to do now is go to main one submenu or main one tab and from the room submenu drag across the go to next room icon so when we click the play game button with the left button of our mouse we will go to the next room next thing we need to do 
is if we go over to sprites we're going to create a new sprite now what we need to do now is create a mask for our button what we're going to do is click edit sprite we're going to make a new sprite now we don't want the default 32 by 32 pixels width and height for this what we want is we want to create a rectangle that's roughly going to be the same size as our text um, and it's going to be almost like um, a box that when the player clicks this then we'll go to the next room but they won't actually see this font it will be invisible so let's set the width and the height width to 150 pixels and height to 50 there we go and if we double click it and we're going to select the paint bucket tool and just select a color that's not green there we go blue click tick and click center there we go and what we're going to call this is we're going to call this play oh, we'll call this play game box and click OK. Now, go back into the play game button under the object submenu. And what we're going to do now is down the bottom you've got an option here that says mask. At the minute it's set to the same as the sprite, so the same as the text, but what we want to do is select the play game box from that menu. And what that means is when game makers trying to figure out, okay, when we press the left button, what is it we're pressing? It's going to be the exact same size as the play game box that we've made. So click OK. And let's have a look. Next thing is we need to actually create our menu. So if we go create room, because a menu still needs a room, a level to, to be in. And then within there, we've got our room here. We can set the background color. Let's set that to something a bit more disgustingly bright. There we go. Background color there. And what we're going to do is we've already created our object for our play game button. So let's select that play game button. I'm going to place that firmly in the center of our room and if we click the little tick and then now drag up our, our menu room which is room 3 for me uh, so that it's above the other two and I'm going to actually go into settings within room 3 and I'm going to call it main menu there we go click tick so it's at the top of the stack now so it's the first thing that the player is going to encounter when we preview the game and if I quickly run a little test fingers crossed that will be okay soon find out so we'll just wait for game maker to compile a quick test of this level for us And there we go, there's our room with our lovely orange background and our red text. And fingers crossed, when I click this play game now, it will go to the first level. There we go, I've clicked it and the level has started. So there we go, we've created a very simple menu with a play button. And there we go, all working, good luck. Obviously you can do much more adventurous menus than I've done there. You might want to you know, create your own background image and add that to the level. You might want to add some animated sprites that are following paths. Um, the sky's the limit really, add some music as well to it, uh, do what you want. Um, but there we go, we've got our fully functioning menu. Uh, I look forward to seeing yours, thank you very much. Any questions please shout out in the comments below.